Welcome to our channel Science and Knowledge. So the latest Geekbench results show the Exynos 2400 is closing. The gap to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. New Galaxy S24 benchmark shows improvements for Exynos and Snapdragon version with awesome results. To know all this here, please watch the video till the end. While it's not official yet, the expectations for the Galaxy S24 Ultra are that it will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset exclusively, while the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus will use Exynos 2400 chipset in most regions. How do these two chipsets compare? Last time we checked the Galaxy S24 Plus, powered by Exynos 2400 chipset, was lagging behind the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Galaxy S24 Ultra in Geekbench test results. Now the most recent Exynos 2400 Galaxy S24 Plus benchmark entry shows performance figures that match the old Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 test. Previously it was reported that Galaxy S24 with Exynos 2400 chipset, 2067 points in single core and 6520 points in multi-core test results. While the Galaxy S24 Ultra with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor has 2234 points in single core and 6807 points in multi-core test results. Now, according to the new available data, Galaxy S24 Plus with Exynos 2400 chipset has received 2193 points in single core and 6895 points in multi-core test results, while the new Galaxy S24 Ultra with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor has received 2297 points in single core and 7104 points in multi-core test results respectively. The Exynos 2400 chipset has a OnePlus 2 Plus 3 Plus 4 CPU core configuration, whereas the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has OnePlus 3 Plus 2 Plus 2 CPU cores. Samsung solution offers two extra low energy cores, which might improve energy efficiency. But as Geekbench has shown, the Snapdragon chipset boasts higher base and prime core frequencies the Snapdragon still has the lead, but it's smaller than before in both single-core and multi-core test results. The difference fell from 8%, 4% to 5%, 3% in single and multi-core test results. At this point, thermals and efficiency will be much more important. Can these two chipsets sustain their performance? How much power do they use when going full throttle? We will find out come review time. And it's almost here. Early buyers will probably have a Galaxy S24 phone in their hands by end of month. The smartphones will be unveiled on 17th and Samsung usually does two weeks of pre-orders after the unpacked event. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care of yourself very well. Peace out.